Hi there, welcome back to Civilization, I'm Byron. We're still exploring Africa, and yeah, Daily built a settler and I decided they should now uh, build a marketplace. Um, that development kind of surprised me at the end of the next uh, last video. I can't build any roads yet, uh, or any bridges yet, but we're trying to develop that now. Irrigate? Yes. Yes, very nice. We have a settler now. And now we will build... Oh, damn, 80. <laughs> That's much. A marketplace. Ancient wisdom. Astronomy. Perhaps the oldest of the sciences, astronomy originated by observing the regularity of celestial movements. The earliest astronomers were priests who were often able to use the predictability of events to maintain their power. Ancient Greek students of astronomy understood that the sun was the center of the solar system, made reasonable est estimates for the size and distance of the sun and moon, and made a close estimate uh, of the size of the earth. These facts not rediscovered in the West for over 1,000 years. These facts, uh, these facts not is not rediscovered in the West for over 1,000 years. Shouldn't it be like these facts were not rediscovered in the West for over 1,000 years? Uh, whatever. Much later, astronomy became important in timekeeping and navigation. Requires mysticism and mathematics, and now we can build a Copernicus Observatory wonder. And we should. Oh, we're still trying to uh, figure out how to build bridges. Okay, now that we have. Uh, yeah, you're building a marketplace, that's nice. Do that. Rome built settlers. That's nice too. You should build a marketplace too. And uh, use the woods here because that speeds things up. No, more like that. Use this one, irrigate. Well, I wonder where the Zulus are. Oh, what do we have here? Money. And a road, please. What is Delhi doing, by the way? Marketplace. Okay. Oh, there's something to the north. Probably England? Okay, uh, let's build a tree trireme. A little ship. And we should also build... Um, no. Marketplace. It's not going to take long, is it? Three turns, okay. Memphis is building on the Colossus, okay. So, there is some more to explore here. Okay, so that's all we can do here. Everything is developed now. So I will go to Memphis and let that settler join the village. Bridge building! Yay! Very nice. An important measure of uh, the advancement of any civilization was the internal construction improvements built to facilitate trade and communication. The Roman Empire was renowned for its roads, aqueducts, and other structures that linked the frontier to the capital. The frontiers to the capital. Bridge building was greatly advanced by the Romans and rediscovered in the West by medieval, medieval engineers many years later.
The first iron bridge was built in England in the late 18th century, and bridge-building techniques advanced rapidly to meet the demands of the expanding railroads of the 19th century. Yes. And now we will take uh, navigation. We have one million um, citizens. And now we have navigation. <laughs> That's easy. The sailors of and Antiqu antiquity studied the night sky. Reading the sky map, they uh, could sail away from sight of the shore, knowing that steering by certain reliable stars would bring them home. This crude practical application of astronomy allowed the adventurers to sail into the unknown with a reasonable chance of finding their way. Wind-powered ships risked longer voyages, tempted by the knowledge, trade and new settlements offered by distant lands. The maps of the known world expanded as the blanks were filled in by the rep reports of the sailors who had mastered navigation. Very nice to have. Go to the city. Okay. So things should really uh, fasten up now here. Memphis is like a really good city because of the two mines that we have. We can build stuff really, really fast. And there's probably someone living on that island here. And we can build um, a sail now. So we don't need to try ream anymore. Do we have roads here? Yes. Do some more irrigation, please. Oh, here they are. No! What are you doing? Yeah, well then, give me philosophy. Get into the city. Yeah, I thought so. Thebes built a marketplace, now it should build a temple. Or maybe it should build some knights. What's that? Civil disorder in Oryx, no shit. Why? Okay, then this should do the trick here. Hmm. Okay, and we could build a forest here. We will do that. Okay, are you building the ship again? Yes, you are. Library is coming nicely. Now we have the hills here, okay. Oh no, barbarians! How unpleasant. They will kill our diplomat. No? Okay. Oh, well. More barbarians. <laughs> this doesn't look too good. The puny civilization of the French. Where are the French? They will kill our diplomat, probably. Why are they leaving the diplomat alone? Well, I'm not complaining. It looks like they're headed towards Babylon. <clears throat> not... I probably shouldn't worry about that. Oh, yeah, well... Oh, stupid! The barbarians are annoying. Babylon builds a library. 
then you should build a uh, knight's ten, 10 rounds, it's too long. Can I buy it? I could buy it. But I don't, yeah, okay, buy it. Okay, they left my settlers alone. That's good. What happened in Geza? Geza, by the way. A lot of barbarians. Yes, we discovered the secret of philosophy. In ancient Greece, literacy and interest in the natural world was common in an expanding upper class that devoted much of its leisure time to debate. Popular topics for discussing were the reality, causes and principles of thinking and being, better known as philosophy. These debates considered the facts independent of the traditional religious dogmas of the day and opened the door to the examination of a wide range of new ideas. The writings of many of these early Greek philosophers, including Plato and Aristotle, have been luckily preserved. It has been said that all philosophy after Plato was no more than footnotes to his work. Very nice. And now we shall learn university. Gaza builds a marketplace, finally. Do, don't we have a settler in Gaza? Did I forget that? Delhi, Rome, where's Gaza? It's up here, I forgot it. Oh, how bad that is that, okay. So, first things first. No! How could the knight die here? I mean, I, I don't believe it. Take a look at that. Military units. Uh, the cavalry has a defense strength of one. And the knight has an attack strength of four. How could he not... Uh, how could he be defeated by a cavalry? Oh, damn. Okay, so they will probably wreak havoc here in the surroundings and uh, destroy all the irrigation and shit. Oh, well, 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 well. Can't help it. So this means you go back to that place. And I still wonder where the Zulus are. Wait, what are you building here? Another knight? I don't want that. Build a temple. And you? Oh yes. Well then, complete it now. Thank you. Um, do some irrigation here. Can't do it here, we need access to water. Okay. Yeah, okay, it worked. Roads, please. Okay, so... Hmm. No, I don't want to attack with one-third strength. Or will I? Oh, let's try it. No, it didn't work. It was a stupid idea to do it. Okay. Temple, and you should build. Uh, that's so sad. Let's build another knight. Hmm. Uh, well, that was a waste to, uh, of a knight to attack with one third strength. Oh, we still have the chariot. It's coming back. But it's going to take a while till it's finished. What about you here? Oh, the ship is ready now. This is good. So we will build um, a temple now.
and we will take a break here so thanks for watching and see you soon bye